If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, determine whether the series is convergent or divergent. If it's convergent, find its sum. And the series is the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 3 over n times n plus 3. Smash that like button and let's get started. So we want to see if the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 3 over n times n plus 3 is convergent or divergent. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to express our series as a telescoping series. So the first thing we should do is express our fraction in terms of its partial fraction decomposition, which when we work that out, we'll see that 3 over n times n plus 3 can be written as 1 over n plus negative 1 over n plus 3. Right, we'll have the system of equations a plus b equals 0 and 3a equals 3, so we get a equals 1 and b equals negative 1. So our sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 3 over n times n plus 3 is equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 3. And now the question is, does this converge? Well, let's look at a few of the partial sums. S1, the first partial sum, is 1 minus 1 fourth. S2 is 1 minus 1 fourth plus 1 half minus 1 fifth. So at this point, nothing has canceled. And hopefully down the line, terms will eventually cancel. S3 is 1 minus 1 fourth plus 1 half minus 1 fifth plus 1 third minus 1 sixth. Okay, still nothing's canceling, but that's okay. Let's use one more partial sum. We have all of the terms from S3, and now the next term is plus 1 fourth minus 1 seventh. Now notice that 1 fourth cancels out with the negative 1 fourth from our first partial sum. And we could see if we go to the fifth partial sum, the minus one fifth will cancel out. The sixth partial sum, the minus one sixth will cancel out, and so forth. Each time we add a term in our series, another one of these negative terms will cancel out. And so we could see that the nth partial sum is one plus one half plus one third, those terms will never cancel out. Everything else cancels out except for the few negative terms at the end. So minus one over n plus one, minus one over n plus two, and minus one over n plus three. So what we'll do now is we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth partial sum and we'll see what that gives us. If this converges, then our series converges. So it's the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2 minus 1 over n plus 3. Those last three terms all go to 0 as n goes to infinity. So our sum, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 3 over n times n plus 3 is equal to 1 plus a half plus a third, which is 11 sixths. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.